Hey, I'm Britta, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making a veggie frittata. I've been seeing a lot of frittatas on social media recently and it makes me so excited because frittatas are super versatile. You can put just about anything in them. Um, the difference between a frittata and like a quiche, for example, is that a frittata doesn't have a crust. So it makes it even easier to make. Today I'm going to use some Swiss chard from the garden. I have some green onions some kimchi to give it a little bit of like acidity and some punch um, because we're going to put some cream and goat cheese in the egg mixture. So that creaminess mixed with the fresh veg and the nice like acidic funky kimchi just makes an explosion of flavor. You can reheat it. It's an awesome dish to have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So let's make some frittata. I start by chopping up three green onions. You can use whatever type of onion you have on hand. You can use white, yellow, red, you can use shallot. The idea is that you're adding some type of allium into the mixture. Now I'm just stripping the leaves from the stems of the chard. I'm going to chop up the stems and the leaves separately because the stems will take a little bit longer to cook than the leaves. I have a few leaves of kale hiding in here too that I needed to use up. I'm going to add the stems to the bowl of green onions because I'm gonna add them to the pan at the same time. Next, I chop up some kimchi. I eyeballed this, but it was probably between a half to two thirds of a cup of kimchi. And I just add the chopped kimchi to the same bowl that has the onions and the stems. I'm using a 12 inch cast iron skillet for this and I like to use eight eggs for a 12 inch. It yields a thinner frittata that's really veg heavy. To the eggs, I add about a third of a cup of heavy cream, a pinch of salt and some black pepper. So before I ever add the egg mixture, I wanna make sure to cook my vegetables. So I add the green onions, the stems of the Swiss chard, and the kimchi to a pan that's about medium, medium high heat with some olive oil in it. And I'm just gonna get a nice saute on these. During this cooking process, I do add a little bit of salt in it. Not too much though, because I'm keeping in mind that the kimchi does have a decent amount of salt in it already. After the veggies have been sauteing for a few minutes and I start to see a little bit of color, I add the leaves into the mixture. And I'm just gonna cook this down until the leaves are nice and wilted and incorporated. Once the veggies are done sauteing, I turn the heat off and I arrange them in a flat, even layer on the pan. I pour the egg mixture over evenly, making sure that it gets distributed to the entire pan. I crumble the goat cheese over the top and I put in the oven at about 375 degrees. The cooking temperature varies a little bit. This one took me about 11 minutes. You just wanna make sure that the center isn't jiggly anymore and that the egg is cooked through, but you don't wanna cook it too much to where the top gets browned because then it's overcooked. Thank you. 
Well, that was super easy and delicious. And while I have definitely been known to spend hours in the kitchen making elaborate meals and dirtying just about every single dish we own, cooking from scratch and making nourishing foods does not have to be complicated. It can be as easy as cracking some eggs, sauteing some veggies, pouring it all into one pan, putting it in the oven and serving it. And you can put your own spin on it. Put whatever you want in your frittata. It's just good food. Thanks for cooking with me today.